Hello YouTube, I am that one guy with the awesome hat, coach of your Portland Root Blazers, and today we have our week 4 match of the ULBA against Coach 27Ds and the San Antonio Shamans. Our team is as below. His team is Skarmory, Shaman, Bundy, T, Mega, Low Bunny, Dawn Fan, and um, what you might call it? Thing, Tentacruel. I'm a little bit surprised he didn't bring Togetic, because I kind of expected him to bring Togetic. And I wanted to meteor mash its face in, but it's okay. I'm looking at his team, and I'm like, all right, what's he gonna lead with? He's gonna lead with Dawn Fan. He's not gonna lead with Mega Low Uh, he probably gonna lead with Skarmory to get up rocks. So my best lead, no matter what, pretty much, is gonna be Typhlosion because Choice Specs Eruption is gonna kill something, or not kill. It's gonna do a ton. So I'm predicting Skarmory. Boom, got it right. So I'm going to go for the eruption. I should have expected him to go into Tentacruel and gone for the extra sensory, but I mean, I didn't want to over predict. I just clicked eruption. So, you know, you get a ton of damage off, misses the hydro pump. That's unfortunate. Now, here, I meant to click Calm Mind, but I misclicked and I clicked Stored Power. But from that 3% damage, we can see that he is specially defensive. Uh, he has a specially defensive, um, whatchamacallit, Skarmory. So I'm like, oh fuck, I misclicked. Now I have to switch out. Um, I'm gonna go back into Cindy. He's gonna set up rocks. That's okay, because I can click another eruption, and I will do a shit ton of damage or kill something. He's sacking off the Shaman. Okay, that crit does not matter. That does like 200 something percent. That's choice specs. Uh, now here, I don't expect it to kill, because it didn't, unless I get a crit. So I'm going to switch out. I don't really want to risk a speed tie. I'm going to Morbius. And he's going to Hydro Pump. That does way too much damage. Um, from the amount of damage he does, he has at least 212 special attack, I believe. Instead of defense, so he's not physically defensive at all. I'm going to go into Jirachi, and his Zen Headbutt will 100% kill. And he is going to go into Dawn Fan. That's unfortunate. He goes into Dawn Fan. Uh, I could try to flinch him down with Zen Headbutt, but, I mean, last week... I tried to flinch him down, and it didn't work. I tried to flinch down Nidoqueen, Queen, and then we died. So, unfortunately, Nightwing has to take a bunch of damage, because I know if he had Ice Shard, he would have literally just killed Noivern. So I'm like, alright, I gotta go for a tri-attack. Alright, that kills. I mean, I'm gonna kill everything. I mean, I could have gone for an Agility, but from Life Orb damage and a Fake Out, I would have probably died here-ish. It wouldn't, I maybe not dead completely, but I would have been probably dead. Now, here I got Wildcat. This is kind of the situation I want. Obviously, I wanted him to come in on me after I died, after I killed something, but I'm at 95% health. 90, 90, high 90% health. I can live literally any one hit, except maybe a high jump kick, because a high jump kick would do, um, it would be close after rocks. But, he, I had Porygon 2 in, he's just going to go for the safe return and kill me. I mean, not kill me, and not kill me. Uh, he's going to go for the safe return, or he'll fake out, and I'll live either one. I'll actually live a, re I think I might live a return plus a fake out, and I can mock punch him, and then bring in Noivern, and then Draco Meteor everything, because I will be able to freely Draco Meteor, because it will kill. And he goes, he's going to go for the return, okay. <sighs> I hate Pokemon. I hate Pokemon. I literally put 208 defense in this fucking Hitmonchan to live this fucking Megalopunny so I could fire off a Mach Punch. Literally, it had one job and that was to fire off a fucking Mach Punch. Ah, <sighs> it's bullshit. Whatever. Well, now I have to go for Hurricane, and he knows I have to go for Hurricane. Because Draco Meteor won't kill him. Draco Meteor does not max 90%, so he can easily go into this thing. So that's the bullshit part, because if I would have been able to go for Draco Meteor, I would have been able to kill this thing. He would have, or he would have, because he would have think, oh, he's going to go for Hurricane. Because why would he not go for Hurricane? He would have switched in this thing, I would have Draco Meteor, it, it would have died. And we don't get the 30% confusion chance. Oh well. Now I have to sack off Porygon 2. 
Because I don't have to feed anything except Don Van. And you know what? He still could have Ice Shard. Now, he's got a Lumberry. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for the Draco. What's he going to go into? He's going to Skarmory. Oh, Draco, that does 32%. Yeah, he's especially offensive. I thought so. I was right. Well, um, we have we have Fire Punch on Nova. So, Nova, Fire Punch is face in. That does under half. He is not fully specially defensive, he is partially specially defensive. That sucks. And also, it also sucks that he switched in Black Canary. If you had switched in Typhlosion right there, we could have freely Fire Blasted anything. Actually, Eruption is still stronger after one Stealth Rocks, so we could have freely Eruptioned anything. And that would have been nice, and then we would have taken a little bit less damage on Black Canary. And he wouldn't be able to free Ruth there. Well, we're going to Fire Punch. And we are going to pick up the burn, which is nice, because it's a little bit of um, karma back. It's because uh, we got, what's this, because we freaking got crit, the super important crit that 100% will matter and be the end of this game, because literally, the Megalopony, we can't, we can't kill it. We had one way, we had... A couple ways to kill it, and that was a little bit of chip damage, and then any hit, uh, our Scarfer, you know, chip damage plus Scarfer, that's a very good strategy. But now we can't do that. I'm going to Draco Meteor this thing, because whatever. He's going to go out into the Skarmory, but I can't afford to overpredict that, because he could have just stayed in. Now, I mean, I could have gone for the Confusion Hacks, but oh, look, we missed a Draco. And he Roost on us. We missed a Draco and he Roost on us. Well, we got a crit, so yay. Doesn't do that much. He's gonna Brave Bird, he's gonna take 0% recoil. Well, Eruption's still stronger, we're gonna go for Eruption, no matter what, everything is gonna die to that Eruption, probably. And that's the end of the game. Uh, I'm looking at the Calcs, he could probably return, but actually, if he's jolly, he can't return, because his return is a roll to kill us. So, he fakes out. That makes sense. Okay. And then he's going to return us. And that's the game. All because we fucking miss... We don't mean omen. We get fucking crit. I put so much fucking physical defense in that Hitmonchan. I'll just pull up a fucking damage calculator. Hitmonchan. Wildcat. Against Mega Lopunny. All out attacker. Return. Yeah, after Stealth Rocks, that would only... High Jump Kick was only a 30% chance to kill us. Return... Oh, Return Plus Fake Out would have killed us. But, it wouldn't have mattered because we had fucking Mock Punch, which does 69 to 82.6%, so we could do a shit ton of damage to him. So we could do a shit ton of damage, weaken him, and then kill him with literally any move on any other Pokemon. So he can't freely switch it in. He would not be able to switch in the Megalopunny to anything because I'd be able to just click any move and kill it because he'd be at at most 30%. But return, if you can see this, 65 to 70, 65.6 to 77.4. Let's see how much it would do if I don't, if I didn't have any physical defense or health. If I didn't, then it wouldn't have mattered because it would have 56% chance to kill. But, since I had 48, oops, 48 and 208, that matters a fucking shit ton. That's a huge ass crit. It's even how much the crit does. Yeah, crit makes it a guaranteed OCO. Let's see, what, what about without self rocks? Yeah, crit makes it basically a guaranteed OCO. We could have done a shit ton of damage to him. Obviously, I would have preferred to be plus one, because then we would have popped him. But, um, we weren't. That's okay. And it's stupid. It pisses me off. Because that would have been, that would have been a big, big game changer. Because then we could have killed, we could have killed it with Draco Meteor. We could have freely Draco Meteored. He would be able to bring this thing in, ever. And I mean, we were good. Let's go to Thunderous T. Let's just say Agility, because that one has... But he doesn't have a boosting item against Typhlosion. 
and we would be at 75%. Yeah, and if we would have freaking killed this thing, okay, look, if we had killed the Mega Low Punny, I could have gone for, I would have gone for Fire Blast because Thunderous T is faster than me. I went for Eruption because I didn't want to miss and I wanted one differential point more. So, if we had killed the Mega Low Bunny, because we would have been freely able to do that, or it would have been at low health, we go for Fire Blast. Thunder's T, who we know has a Lumberry at this point, Thunderbolt from a modest Thunder's T, which he's probably not modest. And if he is modest, we outspeed him. But if he's not modest, we'll say he's timid. That Thunder's T is doing 61.6 .6 to 72.7. So we're killing that. This thing's probably dead. And we kill that. And we win the game. It's that simple. But bullshit is bullshit. And we lost. And we got crit. Because the bunny is stupid when it's on the other team. And because when one when the week before you play a guy and you can't flinch with a 60% chance to flinch move, then you pretty much know that it's already going to be bad. But, whatever. Um, let's think about some pros and cons. Con, um, Machamp, or not Machamp, Hitmonchan, I always say Machamp, Mach Hitmonchan, Plus Noivern did not work to take out the Mega Bunny. Was it because of a crit? Yes, but that doesn't matter because we should have planned better on the crit. Um, mother, uh, Swoobat. Swoobat did nothing. So Calm Mind Store Powered Solid Berry didn't work. Jirachi. He burned. He burned on Van. So that's pretty good. Choice Specs Typhlosion was really great. And we do know that that was a great, that was a good plan. Because we were, we ended up killing that Shaman one hit. We did tons of damage to a lot of things on his team. Probably should have clicked uh, Extra Sensory on the Tentacruel, because let's see. He was Tentacruel. I don't think he was this version, but we'll just say this version. Yeah, Extra Sensory would have been a 2 a KO. He didn't even have Black Sludge. So, yeah, we could have 2-hit KO'd him. Well, but he was scarfed. So, honestly, Eruption was a good idea. Um, pretty sure we did point that. Oh, yeah, this is a 75%. Um, yeah, um, uh, Typhlosion did a good job. Uh, Double Dance Porygon Z didn't work. Uh, Calm Mind Store Power Swoobat didn't work. Uh, Mock Punch Plus Scarf didn't work. That's about the team. So, thanks for watching. Maybe next week we won't lose by hacks. Or have hacks greatly affect the outcome of the match. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, YouTube.